everyone, it's Layla here and I'm coming back at you with a new video, new week, new video. This week I want to do a video on the big baby buys that we have to spend for Luke and just on the baby in general, the big things that you'll need to buy and just basically what we bought um, and what I felt the need to spend extra on and what I didn't. So yeah, I just thought I would share that with you, maybe you're pregnant, maybe you're looking to have a baby and you just want to get insight into big sort of costs that you might have and yeah I'm just going to share with you what we got. So one of the big things that you need to get, well you don't need to get but it makes your life a whole lot easier if you do, is a bedside crib. So this isn't the main bed cot that your baby is going to sleep in long term. It's just for the first six months while your baby is in your room, um, probably in your room. Um, just so that you can be a lot closer to them and keep a better eye on them. You can obviously have the actual cot in your room, but the cots you tend to be a lot bigger, so it's just better to get a bedside crib cot. And we went for the snooze pod, and that was £199. Um, I really recommend the snooze pod. I love that I could take the side down and have him sleep next to me. Really felt like I was sleeping next to him. It was lovely, and obviously you know it's completely 100% safe. Um, so yeah, I really, really recommend that one as well. And it also looks really pretty as well. I think it's just a very classic design. Um, and also it's not too big. It doesn't take up too much space. It's very easy to move around. And yeah, it's just a really nice product. And then for the actual cot, Alexa, stop. Stop. You know when you're just talking and Alexa just hears something? Stop. Hmm. I don't know that one. The cot we went for was the GTD Bambini Kate Mini Cot Bed. Uh, this was £200, which is actually probably quite a decent price for a, like the main cot, um, considering it costs pretty much the same as the bedside crib. That's um, It's a good price. I was actually looking to get the um i was looking to get a different car i can't remember the name of the brand now but it was like um it was around a thousand pounds and it was i think it was around it might have been 500 actually i can't remember now but you'd have to spend a thousand pounds overall because the cot was very small and it was just for like one to six months and then after six months you have to get a different attachment to make it bigger and in the end I just thought, what's the point of me spending all that money? I mean, the crib was nice. It was nice and round. And I, it was different. It was nice. But in the end, it was just too expensive and just not worth it, I don't think. But the um, the Tutini Bambini crib that we've got, he's just started sleeping in now. And that's really nice. It's very spacious. Again, it's a really nice classic design. I really like the way um, both the sides of the bed are kind of curved inwards. I just really like the cot to be honest and I think it goes really nicely in his room as well. So on um, sleeping, sleeping matters, um, we also bought him the Perflow which is a dupe for the sleepy head. I don't know if you've heard of the sleepy head or the Perflow but the sleepy head is quite well known and it costs around like £130 and it's basically, um, it's a pillow to put the baby in and it makes them feel like they're sleeping in your room because they're so like enclosed in the space. And it's very comfy for them, it's very nice for them. Um, it's all about mimicking the womb for baby sleep. So yeah, that's basically what the sleepy head does. £130 for a pillow though, hmm. not the one. Um, we got the Perflow, which I, as I said, is a dupe and that was £65, so a lot better. And to be honest, I haven't got the sleepy head, so I don't know the difference. But he really likes the Perflow, he sleeps absolutely fine in it. And I don't see much difference except for the price and obviously like the deluxe brand that Sleepy Head is. So yeah, I'm happy with the, the Perflow that we got. He really likes it, he still uses it. Um, and yeah, it's just nice and comforting for him to be honest. Okay, so the next couple of things are if you're planning on bottle feeding instead of breastfeeding. And that is number one, a prep maker. So our prep maker is from Tommy Chippy. I think they're the only brand that does it. I haven't seen another one. And it's so, so good. So if you don't know about formula and bottle feeding, formula powder needs to be sterilised before a baby can drink it because it's not sterile in the powder form. So you have to boil the kettle every time you want to make a baby bottle and obviously like put boiling water in the powder, mix it together and give 
give it to the baby but then you've obviously got to wait for that water to cool down so you can't give it to them immediately so you know that's that's one of the big downsides to bottle feeding but the prep maker actually does something really clever so it puts a little bit of boiling water in and sterilizes the powder but then makes the rest like a normal temperature so it's drinkable for the baby immediately it's been an absolute life safe for us it's made bottle feeding so easy um and it's just meant that we don't have tantrums if he's hungry and he wants to drink now he can have it immediately so that's been an absolute lifesaver um i think it's around 68 pounds uh, obviously depending on if you can get a deal or whatever but yeah i would 100 percent recommend if you're going to bottle feed even if you're going to part bottle feed because it just you know you're tired you've got so many other things to do you don't need to be waiting around for a bottle to cool down it's just so much effort so yeah the prep machine i 100 100 percent recommend it's so good okay and obviously you need to sterilise your bottles so if you are bottle feeding or part bottle feeding or um, any of that then you need to get a steriliser ours is from Tommy Tippy. it cost £35 which I think was a really good deal and yeah it works absolutely fine nothing wrong with it, no problems it does everything it should, it's great <laughs> moving on, so next we've got the um, monitor, the baby monitor that you're going to use when your baby's in his room um, just to see that they're okay and everything. Now there's so many on the market that it was really hard to choose one and not only have you now got the camera where you can actually see your baby and hear your baby, you've got the sensors to see whether your baby is moving or not. Um, we didn't go for the sensors in the end, I actually wanted to but then I realised that it would make me super paranoid and I think it's just a step too far for us personally. I like the camera because I like to be able to see him, especially now when he's in his own room all night. It's really nice because it feels like he's right next to me still. And yeah, it's just nice that I can see him and see if he's in trouble or if he's dropped his dummy or anything like that. So that's really helpful. We went for the Motorola one in the end, which is, which works really well. Um, that was £100 and you get the camera with it. You also have a little um, microphone so that you can speak to your baby in the camera. if you want to try and soothe your baby or something like that so yeah it's pretty standard camera um, baby monitor okay and then moving on to the buggy but for the Oyster 3 stroller buggy um, now we had limited choice when it came to buggies because our car is pretty small so we had to work out what was going to fit in our boot so yeah that's why we pretty much ended up going for the Oyster it probably wouldn't have been my first choice otherwise just because there's quite a lot of other pretty ones on the market that I probably would have preferred but it, it works fine and you know it is quite easy to fold up um, there's just a little clip that you use to fold it up and fold it down it's very easy to use it's quite um, lightweight so you can easily take it in and out of your car so yeah well, I have no qualms with that That's, that was really nice the price of the buggy was £500 and then obviously when they're first born they can't go in a buggy buggy so there's an attachment carry cot um which is an extra 169 pounds we were really lucky because my dad had the same buggy for my little sister and she was only born three years ago so he kept the carry cot part to his buggy so we were able to use that and not have to pay extra for one but yeah the um carry cot buggy is really nice actually and um again lightweight and easy to store so car seats really important even if you don't have a car you have to have a car seat to take the baby home in if you get in a taxi or if you know, you're getting a lift, they will make you have a car seat before you can take your baby home from the hospital. So we have the um, Cybex Atten infant seat, car seat, £150 that is. Um, again, that was from my dad, so I was really lucky, again, I was able to get that one. Um, and yeah, again, it works fine. We have an attachment so that it can just clip straight into the car, which is great. It saves so much time. I've, um, instead of having to strap it all in with a seat belt so yeah that, that's really good it's lightweight it has a little hood so that you can pull it down if it's raining or you want to keep the sun out of baby's eyes so yeah I really recommend the car seat as well oh my god there's a spider on my leg oh my god there's an actual spider on my freaking leg I don't even know what to do right now What is my freaking 
knife. I don't know what to do with it. Like I feel bad, but I want it gone. And Luke's just laughing at me, by the way. I've let it go, guys. I let the spider go. I feel bad to kill it. It's not nice, but I'm so scared of spiders. The next thing is a bath seat for your baby. I mean, it's not like a massive baby buy. I'm not really going to cost that much. But it's obviously something that's quite necessary. Um, in the first early days, we literally just used the washing up bowl for him because he was so tiny. And then we got um, a little seat. Not a seat, something for him to lie on, um, which was quite good. And then recently we've moved up to like a proper seat for him to sit in. So we got the Mother Care Aquapod bar seat, which was £20. And he literally just sits in the bath seat. Um, we'll shower him over, wash him with the jug. And yeah, it's really good. Um, I really like it. The only thing is that the sides, there aren't any sides that he can fall left or right. So you have to really make sure that you're keeping an eye on your baby and um, not letting them fall and also that they're strong enough to hold and sit themselves up before you use it. Okay, so on to toys. Um, a play mat is really important. Usually your 10 minutes piece when you really need it or your shower time. Um, they're, really great. they're really great especially when they're young because there's so much for them to look at and play with. Um, we went with the Tiny Love Gym Mini play mat which cost £57 and yeah that's been really good. It's got like loads of different things to, to do on the mat um, there's like different noises it makes there's also like handprints and footprints that if they kick and like pat will make a noise and it's very colourful and yeah just really really nice for baby to play with and play on it also extends so that when they get older they can sort of roll about on it and then we have the um, swing seat which is really good for um, putting them to sleep in the early days and also it's just really relaxing for them as well um, and they like being swung, babies like the motion so we have the Ingenuity Convert Me Swing seat which was £60 again this was another hand me down from my dad we've been so lucky with that because um, yeah we've saved a lot of money on things that we would otherwise have to buy but yeah we really like the Ingenuity seat because it swings back and forth and you don't have to do it yourself, you put it on a, you press a button and it just does it like mechanically. So that's really good. Um, and he even now, seven months, still enjoys sitting in it and it calms him down. And he's happy enough just being swung back and forth. So yeah, that's really good. And then when they get a little bit older and they need a booster seat or a high chair, um, we were going to go for the IKEA high chair actually. Although, again, there's a lot on the market. Um, but in the end, we got him a booster seat, high seat, high chair, which is a portable seat that you strap onto a chair um, that you have at home. That's the one we got for him because we just didn't think we needed a different one and it's worked fine for him. Our one is the Summer Infant Deluxe booster seat high chair and it was only £25. Some of them are ridiculously expensive and I really, like, I mean... Go ahead like, if you want to spend hundreds of pounds on, on a high chair. Um, I was tempted because there's some really beautiful ones out there. But at the end of the day, they're going to eat their food on it. They're going to make a mess on it. It's a high chair. You don't need to spend more than £25 on it. Um, and even less than that if you want. But yeah, so that's the one we've got and that works for him. He likes it. He's safe in it. He can eat his food in it. And... Last but not least, we have the Baby Bjorn Carrier. Um, we got the Carrier one and that was £139. Um, I don't use it that much, but Jack, my partner, he uses it quite a lot. Um, I think for me it's just that he's quite heavy now, so I don't really want to be carrying him around a lot. I'd rather have him in the buggy. But um, yeah, when they're younger, it, it is quite nice, especially if they're quite needy and they want to be close to you all the time and you can't get anything done because you can just strap them to you and get what you need to do done um the baby your, your mine is really good i think it can last them up to like five or three or five years or something like that um because there's like loads of different settings on it which you can use and he actually likes being in it because he can see the world and he feels like he's included um in what we're doing which is nice for him 
but yeah, um, it's obviously not a, not a necessity, but it is a nice extra to have, and it gives you a different option other than just using your buggy. So that is all my um, big baby buys that we had to splash out on. Um, if there's anything else that I've missed out, then just let me know. And sometimes I have a really bad memory, and I'm just like, oh, I forgot that. But yeah, um, that's everything that I can think of. Um, yeah, if you have any other recommendations for baby stuff, especially as they get older that I might need to get them, please let me know because he's getting to that age now where I'm not sure how much longer things are going to last him. Um, but yeah, hopefully we've got a few more months left. Also, if you have any other video requests for me, leave them down below and I'll have links to everything that I've mentioned in this video in the description box and all my socials are linked down below as well. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of that, I'll follow you back. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.